Johan in Sweden. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello. Uh, Thank you for calling you in. What would you like to talk about? Yeah. Um, okay, so you have to accept that I'm a little nervous and I don't have all of the, you know, um, <laughs> science uh, in my head uh, to back up all of what I'm saying, but this is what I believe in and what I have been what what uh, conclusions that I have reached um, okay. with all of this stuff uh, with religion and particularly the Christian denomination and um, uh, so so basically I am very sensitive when it comes to how people interpret and read the Bible they read the Bible and they take a lot of it very um how to say um literally, literally. and uh i don't believe that the bible was meant to be read that way now that's my way of looking at it um i don't i don't have any evidence that that's true i don't i don't have anything that backs up that claim but it, it it's the only thing that makes sense to me is that if you read the Bible and uh, you read a verse and and it and it basically says that um, go out on a full moon night and 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 look up at the sky and you shall be you shall be enlightened something like that right okay. and, and people do this and 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 then they go up and look at the sky and they don't feel enlightened mm -hmm. <laughs> right and uh, what Mormons it, what, actually what, have what that have have of, a a, a version of that. Yeah. Uh, the Mormons will go to your door and say, pray for it at night, pray to receive the truth, and God will reveal himself to you. And if people say, yeah. well, it didn't work, they say, well, you, then you didn't do it right. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. That, you, you, you're good so far. Um, so how does that yeah, have to do I mean, with proving God to yourself? It, it looks like in the notes that you were saying you wanted well, to talk about how you prove God. Because of, 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 of one uh, perspective that I've had on spirituality and uh, separating spirituality from psychology uh, and, and my own personality, which is a okay. kind of Buddhist way of looking at things, I guess. Sure. So, I don't so, know. Uh, but so what is God to you? What is your definition of God? What, what, to, to me, uh, I I I want to base, I, I want to know the truth, right? So I'm on a journey still. Uh, I, I don't think I've reached uh, the final the final conclusion or, or anything yet. But w what it seems to me to be is is this continuous uh, uh, you know companion that I that I and when I say I I mean the 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 sense of yourself that you have that is continuous throughout your life that doesn't ever leave you that people often say you know it's your inner voice uh or follow your inner voice or believe in yourself because okay. so so do you, I'm, do I'm, you I'm trying to, to I'm, I'm i'm trying to follow yeah. this through in a way that can be clear and concise uh let me try and repeat this back to you yeah, it sounds sorry. like what you're saying is that uh, your inner monologue or your identity, the way that you understand yourself, is tied into your definition yeah. of a god? Um, no, and, not 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 a god. I, I don't want to call it. I don't want to call it God. I don't want to okay. call it he or she. So, uh, it, it, god to me is more of an it. It's a more of a force. It's more of the evolutionary force that that is, uh, in to my mind, not blind. But an intelligent kind of permeating force. That, so I've that, got I've got that, some that, questions for you, Johan. If that's okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Go. Cool. Yeah, because a lot of what you're saying sounds very similar to where I was um, maybe three years ago. Um, I mm -hmm. left a religious background, and I realized this isn't right. I'm not sure why yet. I don't have all of the answers. I I don't but I know I don't believe this. I know that this doesn't feel right. So let me go 
look for God elsewhere. And the assumption was always that God existed in some form. Maybe I just had the wrong version. Maybe I just had the wrong idea and I needed to be open to different interpretations or different religions. I did dabble in the whole Buddhist thing for a while. I did, uh, I dabbled in mm-hmm. Wicca for a while. Then I became a pantheist, right? And oh. the, the, the idea that, oh, well, the universe is God. And what we feel when we talk about God and, and that concept comes from our connection to the universe. And then I started doing more research and thinking exactly the kinds of things you, you brought up. Well, it's, a, it's an intelligent force. Okay, well, what is intelligence? Where does intelligence come from? What kind of structures, physical structures are needed to house intelligence? And slowly I started realizing, oh, wait, when we talk about intelligence, we have this ethereal, like ephemeral sense of, oh, well, it's this, 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 this sense of myself, it's my inner voice. But in in reality, in the concrete, uh, when we're looking at this from a naturalistic scientific perspective, intelligence and sense of self come from the physical properties in our brains. And so once I realized that, I was kind of at a loss to explain how a universe could be conscious or intelligent or have intention. And that kind of led me into atheism. Yes. Okay. So that, that is where I kind of went, oh, now I'm going in from one world to the next. Like I'm going from the world of the mind, um, which I also identify is a, is a realm of, 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 (laughs) um, Div- divinity, if you will, it can be a realm of hell if you're suffering well, mentally, that, which I've also been. Johan, that, that, Johan, that sounds very flowery. Sure, um, I, I think you're starting to use words in ways that you're just changing the definitions to fit your changing views. Um, because... And it's a it's a common no, literary I, tactic, saying, but it doesn't really I'm help when we're trying when... to make ontological claims. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Um, sorry, I, I am nervous. But okay. uh, All right. when, when so, you said when you said when you said that you were going to you you were investigating the the intelligence mm-hmm. uh, claim that like it oh it, it's an it it's a force you know, um, uh, and then you kind of realized that that well we have intelligence and uh, that that can be measured in in, in psychological and you know, uh, terms and so forth. Um, take for example, what I want to you to kind of understand is take a psychedelic trip, for instance, that, that you can measure. Well, so, uh, and a lot oh, of people. Question, yeah. Johan, I'm, 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 I'm trying to, to follow, um, the, the response here because the statement was, are you that, that your, your brain is where your thoughts live. Well, well, don't are. start. Uh, if you if if you start, um, it, like it's impossible to have a conversation, and if I'm interrupted uh, all the time to, to try to clarify okay. claims, okay. I, I, I I'm sure you understand. I'm sh- sure. I'm sure you understand where I'm trying to to Absolutely. go. And if I if I'm what? if I can reach my conclusion, I think you'll understand, even okay, if I'm not talking in perfect terms. Or That's defining okay. everything perfectly. I don't know. I, I, have you ever had a conversation over like a cup of coffee with anybody? Just absolutely, <laughs> just absolutely. talking. Yes. yes. And uh-huh. the, the 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 format of this show is one where there's a back and forth. Right. Right. Um, the 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 lowest and slowest points yeah. are when we're being talked at versus when we're engaging with each other. And so the reason I hopped in is because not because I'm trying to be a jerk, but because I'm going okay. We're now at a point where right. the conversation has moved to you need to have a brain to have intelligence. And so when you started talking sure. about a force, I thought, okay, cool. Johan is going to tell us how he thinks a force, something without a brain, can have intelligence. And so when you were responding, I was looking for that. Oh. And because I wasn't exactly finding that, I was wondering, are we still on the same topic or have we moved elsewhere? Oh, okay. I, so you were confused by where I was going. I, oh, I yeah. see. Um, uh, all right. No, I, I, uh, I don't, I, I don't have any proof that there's intelligence, uh, without a brain, but, uh, when I'm, when I, when I look at, um, 
all the things that science actually says about the world, the the evolutionary claims and so forth, um, the origin of species, uh, for instance, uh, is is it, it 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 sounds like like nature is creative in a way that I can't deny, and whether that's God or whether that's whether that's just a a a force that helps evolution further complexity for instance or or novelty that 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 the universe has some kind of need for 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 evolving i don't what know if, but, but what uh, if we don't it seems to me it seems it seems to me that sure. that it, an intelligent force can actually exist without a without a brain but not without a physical medium so, so hold on just a second. Sense. No, it doesn't. Um, so oh. w w when you're making claims about evolution, evolution is a rough, nasty, terrible process. It takes way too long and yeah. there are screw ups way more often than there are any productive changes I know. made. And that being said, I, know, I think yeah. that's evidence about, against that claim. Um, that said, keep looking into it because I think... <laughs> I think yeah. a good, well, here's the thing. I, I think a really good um, question to ask yourself is, um, is it necessary, right? So, so pull out Occam's razor. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. And, and go, exactly. okay. I, 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 mm. Yeah, mm. It, it, is it likely that, you know, through naturalistic processes, the, 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 the world, you know, fleshed itself out the way it is? Or do you need extra structures on top of that to make it happen? If you need those extra structures, then what are they and what are those evidences? Because you're saying there's a need for guidance in evolution. And I, oh, yeah. I, I, okay. So you're, you're pointing ahead. to the human fall, fall, you know, fallacy where human perception uh, kind of projects a, a identity onto things. Yeah, or it's anthropomorphizing the universe. I was going to say exactly that. Right on. Yep. Um, yeah. Um, Do you think that I, 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 that's that's kind of where I I grind to a to a to a stop with 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 my reasoning sometimes. But yeah, yeah. Well, okay. knowing that is a good thing, right? We 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 okay. realize. Oh wait, here is a hole. Here's a hole in my logic. Here's something that I come up against a lot. That's what you look at. You mm -hmm. have a goalpost. You know what to research next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a huge discussion, though, that I, I don't think it fits. Uh, um, like, I, ca I couldn't, um, I, I, probably, I probably sound like a babbling idiot. No, uh, no. No, you've expressed yourself very well. I think this might also be something you want to join maybe the Facebook group or the Discord and talk more yeah. about this with other people as well. Absolutely. Also, yeah. the Reddit. Uh, if you go to reddit.com yeah. slash r slash talk uh, that's a format where you mm -hmm. can take it and, and write it all out and then have it and then you can edit it and look it over and go, okay, this is what I'm thinking and then post it and then other people can read it and take their time with it and really give you thought out responses. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that'd be a lot more yeah. useful at this point. Right. Yeah, but thank right. you for that calling sounds, in. That sounds great. Yeah, and thanks for taking my call. I've been uh, calling in for a few weeks, and uh, I've been meaning to, uh, wanting to talk to both of you. You are uh, extremely intelligent to me, uh, uh, I, um, and I absolutely appreciate what you do, because what you do yeah. is so important in the times that we are uh, living in right now. It's Thank you. Crazy. Thank you. Appreciate you you calling yeah, in and, definitely. Uh, and also, definitely reach out to the the different networks. We, we've got a lot of people who would be interested to talk with you about this. Yep. And there are people who are already yeah. in the live chat who are talking about yep. it. And when you started out saying, well, my, my English, dude, your grasp of You're all good. of this language is amazing. And, and I cheers. Kudos, man. Anyway, well, take it easy. Have a good yeah, one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you too.